We actually get information that Maurice Johnson came to the homicide office waiting to talk to us. Like, this doesn't happen often. Thanks for coming in, Mr. Johnson. No problem. This is somebody who's on our suspect list that we usually have to track down and take weeks sometimes to get him. Maurice Johnson has just served himself up to us. All right, so we understand from your ex-wife that you stay at her place on Majona Street from time to time. Oh, no, 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 no. Maurice said he actually did about three months incarcerated at the Fulton County Jail. That upon release, he comes back to the old neighborhood and his ex-wife bans him from going on the Madrona property. I live in the house down the street. What can you tell us about this woman? Nothing. He denies everything. No involvement and had absolutely nothing to do with either of their deaths. What about her? Oh, okay. Now, I've seen her before. This one? Yes, I've seen her with, with my son. My denture came by for a drink and they just chatted for a little while. He said Heather Camp was with him. When was this? It was on uh, December, December the 16th. And we know December 16th is the last time anyone spoke to Heather. And we also know that's the same day that Heather's phone got street pawned. If his son or Dentrick is involved, we have a burning question that needs to be answered. You ever hear the name Murder Man? He looks at us like, you don't know? I mean, of course I've heard him. That's my son's nickname. That's... Caleb. Who's asking? Uh, we spoke earlier. On the phone. Oh, you must be George. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's good to finally put a face to a name. Now, you were her psychiatrist at one time, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. Real nutcase, that one. You're probably here for this. Okay. I really shouldn't give this to you. Yeah. So let me ask you, how long have you been working with me? Three years, and three psychiatrists before me. Mm -hmm. Be careful with this one. Mm -hmm. She's dangerous. All of us gave up on her. She uh, wasn't making any progress. Mm -hmm. Just remember, it didn't come from me. <laughs> I never saw you. Tell me what's going on. Nothing, Bob. Everything's cool, man. Yeah. You know, I really tried hard to keep you away from the game. But you wouldn't listen. Yeah, I know. So a man's gonna do what a man's gonna do. Look, listen. I'm just leaving town for a couple of weeks. All right? Two weeks tops, I'll be back. Your mother was the most beautiful woman in high school. Everybody wanted her. But I got her. Then you come along. <laughs> she was mad at you. I swear I listened to that woman for 20 years complaining about them stretch marks. <laughs> I remember growing up, every time she got mad at me, she would say this. You the reason I can't wear a bathing suit no more. <laughs> I miss her. Yeah, me too, bro. Look, man, I gotta go, all right? You call me when you get there. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You know women can't hold water. Lisa told your sister, your sister told your mother, and your mother talked to anybody that would listen to her. Would you take that damn thing off your head? You look like little Bo Peep.
town of all this could not be worse. First mortgage, first baby, and the first of life's many changes. 